Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I'll be taking a look at Orca Slicer version 2.2 official release. Let's scratch today's topic. My voice might sound a little bit different, not as energetic as usual because I, you know, I got a sore throat, a cold, but whatever, that's not stopping me from making videos, content for you guys. And yeah, Orca Slicer just released their newest, latest version, version 2.2 official release. I'll jump to GitHub, take a look at all the new changes and features that they add to version 2.2. Then I'll update Orca Slicers and we'll dive in to see what kind of stuff has changed. We are in GitHub, Orca Slicer version 2.2 official release. This was released three days ago, but it's still really, really recent. This is the official release of Orca Slicer version 2.2. It fixes several issues found in previous version, introducing new features. Amazing! They recommend updating to this version, and me too. I just love all Orca Slicer's new update. Okay, the first thing that they add fix to Orca Slicer version 2.2 is this PA pattern calibrations. This prints the flow value and acceleration. Orca Slicer's now print max flow value and acceleration and PA on the test print for easy reference when PA pattern is selected. Oh nice. So now if you are testing your 3D printers and you will select PA pattern, it will give you the max flow value and acceleration, which is very nice. So this is the max actual flow rate right here and then Excel right here. It tells you by the number and it also gives you all of these fine tuning number here so that your printer is going to be printing the best. They also fix a bug where the nozzle could collide with printed walls during travel movement when the scarf seams feature is enabled. Yes, look at that. Scarf seam was a new feature that they added a while ago with fixing the seam make it look less visible. There's a bug in it and not to fix it. They also fix bugs in their outer and their wall ordering mode fail to reorder in certain angle caused by Arcane. The next thing is allowing printing prohibited fitment when skip AMS blacklist checked is enabled. Nice. I have not used that, but it's it's there. They also fix crash issues, thumbnail. They also fix more things. Crash when doing PA collab using pattern method. Fix crash when extruder 16 is used. Wow. And they add a GD profile update. If any of you guys are GD users, there you go. Add Creality Print support. Wow. Look at that, they add QLED print support into Orca Slicers. Amazing. In the Cubic 2 Plus, Cobra 2 Max, Cobra 2 Pro, Cobra 2 Neo, and Cobra 3 by Culture Coder. Thank you, thank you, Culture Coder. I think that's how you pronounce it. For adding all of these into Orca Slicers. And now I can transfer everything over to Orca Slicers and just use everything right there even the cobra 3 not quite sure yet hopefully i will be able to connect directly land printing using the cobra 3 instead of using a usb drive enable air filtration support for bamboo labs 3d printers and many many more things so if you go all the way down here's the assets you can go ahead and download this for your device any device that you have here they support it and these are all the contributors thank you so much not much for this official release because if we go back to the release page here and we look at the rc version the release candidate version they add all of these amazing features here they add negative parts here they also add these settings in and if we keep going down the beta 2 they add a support for a texture cool plate which is very nice improve fuzzy skin feature move plate to the front nice this area right here they fixes that and then the beta release for version 2.2 for the version 2.2 beta it's then support and multi-materials printing proof flow rate calibrations but now they have a new newer version pressure advance all of these amazing stuff into orca slicers 2.2 it's so fun and so amazing seeing all these new changes from these people i will leave this in the description down below so you can go and see all the new changes all the old changes yourself we just updated orca slicers to version 2.2 and I did the PA pattern test right now. I'll show you the results. I just done printing this and as you can see here, it might not be the best quality. This is PETG with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. And as you can see here, it made a giant blob right here. It just keep grabbing the filament next to it. And I feel like I have not got the 0.8 millimeter nozzle tuned all the way yet. But for this test, I crank up my flow rate all the way to 23. It was very high flow rate and 
let's take a look. For this PA pressure advanced test, I crank up the flow rate to 23 for PGG and a 0.8. And the acceleration was defaulted to 5000. It did not play that number well, but it kind of did the 5000 dollar, but you can't really see it. Overall, I feel like this, for me, I feel like all of them are really, really similar. There's really not that much differences. I feel like this is trying to be like all in one test solutions for pressure events, for flow rate, for acceleration. Don't get me wrong, it is. But I feel like just printing one of this is, it gives you a good idea of it, but it's not giving you everything that you need it to tune your 3D printer. I still think if you really want to fine tune your 3D printer, you need to do individual testing, pressure event testing, the line where it accelerate, decelerate, it gives you a really good result of how consistent the line is. And then for flow rate, you can do the tower where it goes back and forth all the time. The speeds increase, the flow rate increase, and at the end of the print, you can measure the part starts to stack now well, and then you can measure from that, you can determine your flow rate right there and your speed. But if you just want to do a quick overall everything, see if your 3D printer can handle everything, then yeah, this is a really good test to do. It's really good that they have this option because, you know, if you do all those other testing and then you do this as a final test and everything comes out really nicely, nicer and better than this, then you have a really good 3D printer for printing good quality 3D printed parts. Orgas Nasser keeps getting better. We get stuff like this all the time. Thank you to all those people that has contributed to Orgas Lasers. That will be it for this video. Of me checking out Orca Sensor version 2.2, leave a comment down below. Do you think this is a viable test, or you rather do each test individually? Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to this channel, and as always, keep on 3D printing.